Hey, how are you guys doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Great. We're doing good. Uh, first of all, congrats on uh, having your, you know, your series picked up by Netflix. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, talk a little bit about the, how it all came together and what was it that you wanted to make sure got accomplished in the move to that medium of television? Um, I think what we wanted to get accomplished in the move was really uh, to see these characters expanded um, and the story told in, in longer form so you get more out of it, you get to spend more time with the characters. Yeah. And I don't know, um, expand everything, the world, visually, our audience, you know, we're going to reach a lot more people that haven't read the comic and to introduce this to new people, um, it, it was our biggest challenge, I think. One of the things is that it's also a tricky thing where you want to make sure the fans of the comics love the transition, but you also have to expand to you know people that have never read the comic and make right. a television show. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about those challenges and make, let's just, I'll stop with that. I, I, think, I think my favorite things about the show, um, there's a few of them, and I, I think my favorite things about the show are, are they kept the weird ideas. They're still there. There's some really heady concepts to get your head around. Um, and the show really stays true to that. And, um, you know, that's one of the things I like the most. Yeah, I think they kept the essence of the characters. They, they grabbed that very well. And that's what I'm most proud of. And, and they have fresh ideas for everyone and for the story, which are great and fit into the story and they will add up to this whole, like, if we can call it mythology of our story, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's what I think it's great about this show. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm very curious uh, when when you're developing something like this, how much is Netflix and the creators over there saying, um, "What's your five year plan? You know, what's your extended plan?" And how much is it <clears throat> sort of like, "Okay, let's just come up with a great idea for season one, right. and then let's see what happens." Um, they do want to know where it's heading, you know. Um, and so what we did when we began the whole process, I, I was talking to Steve Blackman, the showrunner, and what I did for Steve and for the writers in that first writer's room was to create them about an 18-page document that laid everything out, even of the graphic novels that haven't come out, come out yet, and uh, which should equal eight when we're all done. Um, so I, I gave them the blueprint for what happens. Because you know you do want to see certain things in there for future series, and you know the hope is that it's a success, so you get to do a lot more of these. So um, I think everybody's always kind of, and they're always curious as to what Gabrielle and I are doing next. We yeah. send them, we always send them the new comics, and they really want to know what's happening. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, a lot of creators like to sometimes do like Easter eggs where they're walking by a scene, mm -hmm. and like you're in it, but you're not really pushing yourselves. Did you visit set when they were filming? Did you try to put yourselves in the background of a scene? Um, we visited, we set visited the set the first week, but we weren't ever on the on the screen. No, yeah. You know, I'm I'm I've become a little camera shy. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm camera shy as well. Mm -hmm. and I'm not a rock star, but uh, I I did some some work for the series mm -hmm. uh, that are in it, and I think you know, fans of the comic will enjoy it when they see it. So. That's the only kind of appearance that I did. Uh, one, my last thing for you guys. Uh, what's really cool is there's a lot of mystery when you start. The show starts and you are trying to just catch up and figure out what's going on. Can you sort of talk about that aspect? Yeah, I, you know, Mike Richardson from Dark Horse, his favorite thing that he always said to me about um, Umbrella Academy was that it was like this mystery box that keeps opening and unfolding and unfolding. And that's kind of what Umbrella Academy is. Like right away you're just thrust into this mystery of like, okay, well, all these women weren't pregnant before, but all of a sudden they all had babies. And, and, and then, well, okay, number six died. Well, how did he die? We don't, we don't tell you yet. And so as Gabrielle and I tell this story and it keeps going on and on and on, that's how we learn about stuff. The more we read, the more we learn. We don't know all the backstory. We don't know all the secrets. And so these secrets are revealed over time. Cool.